Alright, what we're going to do here is um, just going to put some compressed air into it to just to spin the motor up, see if it works alright. So, um, just put a little air fitting into the spark plug hole and uh, we're only talking a 5mm uh, inside diameter on the tube and the lead to my compressor which is way outside is about 20 metres long the regulator is set at 40 psi just so we don't uh, spin the motor up too fast but um, this will give us an idea if it's going to work or not so to get it to start I guess we just put it on top dead centre our exhaust valve will be closed um, the airflow, we don't have an injector or anything so the airflow is going to be continuous into it but um, when the exhaust valve opens it will allow the piston to come back up the top because the air will just be coming straight out of the exhaust so when the exhaust valve closes it should push the piston down to the bottom so uh, we'll plug her on and we'll give her a spin up and see what happens the air out of the compressor pretty quick. It's only a small tank and uh, of course we're wasting a lot of air straight out of the system once the exhaust valve is open. Uh, but it seems to spin up alright. Uh, I guess now it's time to um, continue on make the uh, refrigeration unit and everything for it. It's going to have a little trouble uh, with this sealing this exhaust side of it, as you can see it's an awfully large square hole and we don't have a lot of sealing surface area around the exhaust port. Um, so I'm thinking I may have to do some uh, modifications here, maybe a bit of alley welding and build that up and then uh, cut an o-ring groove in there or maybe even drill it and tap it out once we've built it up and we can use a screw in thread then. I guess would be the better way to go, but uh, we'll have to look into that and see how we go, but it seems to spin up quite fine. Um, yeah, I guess we're well on our way. <laughs> 